Look, we all know someone that's done it. Someone that's lost 10 pounds and then gained 10 pounds, lost 10 pounds and then gained 10 pounds, or worse, maybe we know someone that's lost 10 pounds and gained 15 pounds back. Look, honestly, it's happened to me in the past plenty of times, and if we're honest, it's probably happening to you at least once or twice in your life. Today, I am going to destroy the one commonality that causes people to yo-yo diet with their weight and with their fitness. What's good, Simple Achievers? Steve Hicks here, online coach for Simple Success Fitness, and if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe down below so that you can get regular updates from me and together we can live a healthier, happier life. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle the one thing that is disrupting people and causing them to yo-yo diet over and over and over again. Over on Facebook today, I was telling people that if you've done a fitness program, whether that's weight loss or whether that's exercise or whether that's diet, if you've done a fitness program for over 12 weeks and you cannot maintain that for 12 years, then the reality is you've never had fitness. And I'm not saying that if you can't keep with it, you're lazy or, or undisciplined or something is fundamentally wrong with you, but a process that you cannot maintain longer than 12 weeks is not a measure of success. It is not a measure of fitness. It is a lie. I hear this all the time as a trainer. I start to talk to someone, they say they want to lose weight, and then they say this. Yeah, well, you know, I know how to lose weight, but do you? I don't think you actually do. I think a lot of people have these conceptions of they've had some short-term success, but the reality is, if you cannot sustain that, it is not real success. Anybody can do things for two to three weeks. But what can you do for two to three years? If you cannot sustain it, then it was not real. And I hear this all the time. People ask me about workout ideas and they say, Steven, I did P90X three years ago. It was fantastic. I was in the best shape of my life. I, I got injured and I stopped doing it and now I can barely walk up the stairs. But it was great. Should I do it again? No. You couldn't maintain it. It hurts you. Don't do that again. That was not success. That was an illusion of momentary success. Or I'll hear people say, Stephen, I, I know how to lose weight. I lost 20 pounds last year. I did the keto diet. It was fantastic. I lost all that weight. I mean, it really sucked and I hated it and I didn't want to do any more and then I eventually had a beer with my friends and I had some birthday cake at my buddy's house and you know, I've, I've gained 30 pounds back since losing 20 pounds, but the diet works. I want to do it again. Should I do it again? No, that diet does not work if you gain 30 pounds back. If you could not maintain the weight loss, then the weight loss was not a success. And so what I want people to do is I want them to change their habits. What often happens is we completely alter what we do in a really artificial and fake way. We don't change who we are. We just pretend to be someone else for a short amount of time. And who we pretend to be can be successful. But we don't actually become that person we're pretending to be. What I want people to do is I want them to transition into becoming a person that is successful with their health and wellness. I want people to stop pretending to be a dieter and I want them to become a person that eats well. And the way we do this is really simple and we focus on just 2%. People make a 100% change all at once. They do some great things, but that's not who they are and they always come back. What I want you to do is I want you to really reflect on who you are right now. Right now, who you are, that is a habit you can sustain. We know you can do that because you don't have to try to be you. And what we want to do is we want to alter and slightly tweak who you don't have to try to be so that we can slowly become who we want to be. So what I want people to do is I want them Instead of completely changing their diet, is I want them to change one thing at a time. I want them to make one small tweak. I want them to practice that and succeed with that and sustain that. 
Results that you sustain, those are true results. And I want you to do a little bit. And then when you no longer have to try, when that's ingrained into who you are, we, we add 2% more. And we add 2% more on top of that. And we do these things until they become so easy, so fundamentally part of who we are that we don't have to try to be successful. That is just accidentally part of our DNA now. And so instead of throwing the baby out with the bathwater to adopt the keto diet, what I have people do is I have them say, ah, you know what, this plate of food has too many carbohydrates on it. Maybe I can take a spoonful off. Maybe I can take two spoonfuls off. You know what? This actually works for me. I can maintain this. I can do this for the rest of my life. You know what? Now that I look at it, this plate doesn't quite have enough vegetables. So I took some carbs off. Maybe I'll add some vegetables. I can do this. I can practice this and I keep this. And that 2% change stays for the long term. Same thing with fitness. People want to do these crazy habits. And I get this all the time as a trainer. People will come to me and be like, man, I've been fit a couple times. I know what I'm doing. You know, three years ago, I did P90X. It was fantastic. Best shape of my life. It was awesome. I mean, I hurt my shoulder and I had to stop. And then like, I, I just kind of got lazy and I got really overweight. And then like two years after that, like I saw that. So I did P90X again and it was great. I got back in shape. It was awesome. And, uh, you know, I hurt my shoulder again. Um, so, you know, I haven't worked out since then. And now I'm out of shape and I can't walk up the stairs. But I know how to get fit. I know what works. No. No, you don't. If it continually hurts you and you continually stop doing it, it's not successful. It's not what works. And you need to stop thinking that you know how to work out with that approach. What I have people do is I start them on a really easy workout program. And then I ask them, if you can do this, what's 2% more that you can do next time? Can you do two more reps? And then they start to add just a little bit. And then I'm like, you know what? This is doing great. Can we add another exercise? Can we add one more exercise? And then they can do that without effort or without trying extra hard. And they practice it and they sustain it. And each week we try to get 2% better. We don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. We don't pretend to know what worked in the past. And then we yo-yo back and forth. We start to look at where we are and how can we get just 2% better, just 2% better to move forward, constantly improving, but never moving backwards. That's where we need to be. If you found yourself in the past, yo-yo dieting, being on a plan, being off a plan, being on a plan, being off a plan, and then finding yourself, telling yourself that you know how to be successful because you've had momentary glimpses of it. If you keep telling yourself that you know what you're doing, you're only going to hold yourself back and you need to approach it in a new way. Now, I've given some ideas in this video how to start to move forward in a 2% manner just to slowly tweak things so that you can sustain for the long term. And that is great. But if you need a little bit more assistance, and honestly, we all do at some point, everybody needs a mentor. Online coaching could be a really great option for you on this. I provide online coaching and I work with my clients not in abandoning everything that they're doing and not, not radically overhauling how they live their lives, but I work with my clients on how do we tweak what they're already doing to move them towards who they want to be and who they want to become. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll put a link down below in the descriptions on how to connect with me and, you know, work with an online coach or, you know, you can work with a trainer in person as well. Obviously, I think I'm the best, um, <laughs> right? But working with someone can help guide you and keep you supported and accountable to those 2% changes, just that small little tweak. A Forget and abandon that preconceived notion that what you've done in the past works because if you cannot sustain it, it is not working and work with someone to help guide you on how to progressively get 2% better week over week and over week because 2% at a time, that's how we get healthier. That's how we sustain fitness and that's how we live a healthier, happier life. 
Thank you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more great advice like this. And like I mentioned, together, you and I can live a healthier, happier life.